Now let's look at some equations that have both parentheses and fractions. The first we'll look at is 1 3rd times 5y minus 2 plus 2y equals y minus 1 3rd times 2 plus 3y. The first thing we want to do is get rid of the parentheses. So on the left we're going to distribute the 1 3rd. So first of all we'll take 1 3rd times 5y, that gives us 5 thirds y, and then 1 3rd times minus 2 gives us negative 2 thirds, and then we'll add the plus 2y. And on the right side we have y, and then we're going to take the minus 1 3rd and distribute, and so we'll get minus 1 3rd times 2, which is minus 2 thirds, and minus 1 3rd times 3y, which is negative y. The next thing we want to do is combine like terms on the left hand side. We have 5 thirds y plus 2y. So over here on the side let's calculate what 5 thirds plus 2 is. Well that's the same as 5 thirds plus 6 thirds which is 11 thirds. So on the left hand side we have 11 thirds y and we still have the minus 2 thirds. And on the right hand side the y and the negative, negative y cancel which leaves us with negative two-thirds. Now what we can do is add negative two or add two-thirds to both sides to get the y term by itself. On the left hand side that leaves us with eleven-thirds y and on the right hand side these numbers cancel and that leaves us with zero. Now we want to get y by itself so we can multiply by the reciprocal of eleven-thirds which is three-elevenths on the left hand side and since we did that to the left hand side we need to do it to the right hand side as well. On the left that just leaves us with y and on the right we have 0 times 3 elevenths which is 0. So our final answer is y equals 0. Let's look at another one. Let's look at negative 1 7th times 2z minus 2 and that equals 3 7th times 6 minus z. Now there's a couple of ways we could do this problem. The first way is we could do what we did before. We could distribute the negative one sevenths, we could distribute the three sevenths, and work the problem out that way like we did on the previous problem. But on this one I want to show you a faster way to do it. This way, the distribution way, is not the best way. So what's the faster way? Well we can notice that on both of these fractions the base is seven. And so what we can do is go through and multiply the whole problem by 7. So on the left hand side we'll multiply by 7. The right hand side will multiply by 7. Since we did that to both sides of the equation, this is valid. Now on the left hand side, that 7 and the 1 7th are going to cancel. And on the right hand side, the 7 in the numerator and the 7 in the denominator will cancel as well. So on the left that leaves us with negative 1 times 2z minus 2. And on the right, that leaves us with 3 times 6 minus z. Now let's go ahead and distribute. So we're going to take negative 1 times 2z. That's going to give us negative 2z. And then negative 1 times negative 2 will give us a positive 2. And let's distribute on the right-hand side now. We get 3 times 6, which is 18, minus 3 times z. So we get minus 3z. Now we want to add 3z to the right or to the right hand side since we did that to the right hand side we want to do it to the left hand side as well this is going to get all of our z's over on the left hand side they'll cancel on the right hand side we'll be left with negative 2 plus 3z on the left which gives us a z then we still have the plus 2 and that equals 18 now we want to get z by itself so we'll subtract 2 from both sides that leaves us with z equals 18 minus 2, which is 16. So z equals 16 is our final answer. Let's do one more. Here we have 5 times 1 tenth t minus 2 equals 3 times t plus 1 minus 1 half t. Again, the first thing that we need to do is get rid of these parentheses. So let's distribute the 5. That gives us 5 tenths t, which is the same as 1 half t. And then we'll have 5 times negative 2, which is negative 10. And that equals, on the right hand side, we have 3 times t, which is just 3t. And 
plus 3 times 1, which is 3, and we still have that minus 1 half t. Now let's combine the like terms on the right hand side. So we have 3t minus 1 half t, so we need to figure out what 3 minus 1 half is. Well, 3 minus 1 half is the same thing as 6 halves minus 1 half, which is 5 halves. So the left hand side stays the same and we'll rewrite the, the right hand side as 5 halves t and then we still have that plus 3. Now we want to get all the t's on the same side so let's subtract 1 half t from the left hand side. We'll do that from the right hand side as well. On the left those cancel leaving us with negative 10 and on the right we have 5 halves t minus 1 half t. Well 5 halves minus 1 half the, the denominators are the same, so we can just subtract the numerators. That gives us 4 halves, which is the same thing as 2. So on the right, we have 2t, and then we still have the plus 3. Now we want to get the t term by itself, and so we'll minus 3 from both sides. That leaves us with a negative 13 on the left, and on the right, we have 2t. And finally, we want to get t by itself, so we'll divide by 2. And so we get t equals negative 13 halves.